With their peaks stretching for the sky, the Smoky Mountains contain some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. Flowing down from one of those peaks, Abrams Creek is known far and wide for its clear, cold water amidst lush vegetation. This watershed is probably cleaner today than it's been in over 200 years since people, Europeans, had settled it. We'll actually just work our way from the bottom up. Give it a pull. Velocity, which is gonna be in meters per second, uh, is negative 0.03. Tennessee Tech biology student Keith Gibbs. 1.29. 1.29? Yes. And fellow student Jason Throneberry are spending part of their summer giving Abrams Creek a health checkup. Depth of 0.35. Determining its depth. 0.82, 0 0.13. We're doing that every 20 meters for our 200 meter reach. And we're gonna do that every two weeks. 0.19. And the velocity of its water. To see if the, the habitat manipulation up near the campground, if it occurs again, has effect on the velocity, which could potentially mean a fish would be there or wouldn't be there. A dusky tailed darter, one of several fish threatened or endangered that live in a vulnerable section of Abrams Creek. The fish are highly sensitive to any habitat disruption, whether natural or man made. And in most cases, it's man made because it's adjacent to a very popular campground. People staying here can't resist coming out and grabbing the many rocks found here and building dams. Just like us as kids growing up, they like to get in and swim and pick things up and build little rock dams and build little chutes when the water gets low to, you know, inner tube down and confine the water. But while they're doing that, it also happens to be during those times when these things are spawning. It's when they're disturbed, the fish will, the males will swim away, the nest will be unprotected, susceptible to predation. They need as much opportunity to breed and to be successful in breeding as possible. Ready? Yeah. Snorkeling in the creek allows the researchers to carefully look under rocks for the small camouflaged fish to check their numbers and their nests. And it's just nice to see fish that people don't generally even think are there. And we're getting a look at them, you know, especially snorkeling, getting face to face with them. It's just a really good feeling seeing how these things are doing. The fish's future depends on how well aware campers and others are about how their actions impact the tiny river residents. These fish are in very few streams throughout the southeast, particularly in Tennessee. If they can be re-established here, that means that there's hope for other streams to be repopulated. As is so often the case, the actions and desires of humans conflict with the lives of nature's inhabitants. But the work of these student researchers, as well as the National Park Service, offers the fish a better chance to survive and thrive. And I guess you could say that these uh, species are some of the crown jewels of Abrams Creek. For that matter, the entire Smoky Mountains. I'm Alan Griggs on Tennessee's Wild Side.